Glory be to God in the highest. This is your host once again, Apostle Emmanuel Aguntai. Today, I want to make this declaration to you that the goodness in your life far exceed the evil that people do. In Jeremiah chapter number 5 and verse 26, the Bible says, Amongst my people are wicked men lying in wait for their victim. Like hunters in the blind, they are setting traps to do what? To catch men. They may be doing this every time. And maybe you are at price and wondering, when will I come out of this evil? I have come to make this declaration to you that God is saying the goodness and mercy of God concerning my life and your life far exceed the evil that people are doing in their secret chambers. Ha! Ah, Psalm 23 verse 6. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name. And I hear a loud Amen. I decree today. Because there is goodness in our lives. Because all good and perfect gifts come from God. They come directly from the almighty God. The father of all light in whom there is no variableness. I cancel every evil hand that is waiting to entrap us. That is waiting to set traps for our failures. I Counsel it in the name of Jesus. I break their hold over our lives by the authority in the name of Jesus. And today, Lord, as we focus on the goodness and mercy, as we step out, it will be goodness and mercy following us. As we step in, it will be goodness and mercy. Our going out and our coming in shall be accompanied by goodness and mercy all the days of our lives in the name of Jesus. People of God, I know sometimes we want to care about how many people are truly lying in wait for us. But today I want you to know that God is saying to you, the goodness and mercies of God in your life far exceed the evil that people are trying to cast upon you. Because the hand of the Lord God is upon us. He said in his word, I will never leave you nor forsake you. God will not lead you this far and forsake you. God bless you, Rigo. Until I see you again, I want you to remain in the atmosphere of his glory. God bless you. Amen.